Howdy, AP Preakout. It's Ms. Kosh. This is the fourth video I'm making for Section 213. Um, so we're looking at the inequalities, which is not something, logarithmic inequalities is not something I've really taught before. So it's kind of fun. Um, I'm definitely pulling ideas from lots of other places um, that I have taught, but let's jump in and see what happens. Okay, so on this one, we, we did an... Um, an inequality just a minute ago. So go look for it. The third video was the first of the inequalities. Here comes the next video. Um, okay, so they've given us G, they've given us H, and they're asking us when is G less than H? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to consider the domain of each of these um, and then consider where they actually intersect. So the domain of this guy is pretty straightforward. It's negative 4 to infinity. The domain of this guy is not as straightforward. So, um, and that doesn't factor, which is annoying. Um, I want some scratch paper. Okay, so what I might do in this one is I might say, okay, x squared plus x minus 5 equals 0. Um, I know that it's opening up. So if I did a sign diagram for that, when I find its zeros, it's going to go positive, negative, positive. I just don't know where these zeros are. Okay. So I can, well, completing the square gives me fractions, so I'll just do Pythagorean Theorem. I lied. <laughs> oh, goodness. I won't do Pythagorean Theorem. That doesn't help us in the slightest. I'll do the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so we end up with x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 21 over 2. Okay, so one of those is going to be negative, one of them is going to be positive. We can't equal either one of them here. So now the question becomes, okay, well, let's hang on to this. We need to go, we need, we need things that are smaller than the negative and larger than the positive one. So this one right here was negative 1 minus root 21 over 2, and this one right here was negative 1 plus root 21 over 2, and we want things in this interval and that interval. But let's see how to, com we'll compare those to negative 4, and then we also need to compare it to where these things intersect. Whew, okay, here we go. So to find their intersection, we're going to let g of x equal h of x. Okay, so this is the natural log of x squared plus x minus 5 is equal, that's an equal sign, doesn't look like it, but pretend, um, to x plus 4, a natural log of x plus 4. So when I set these equal, so natural log of something equals natural log of something, I can set the somethings equal. x squared plus x minus 5 is equal to the natural log of x, oh, I'm, my, sorry, I'm sorry. We had PSAT today. It was exhausting. Okay, I just got to watch everybody take the PSAT. It was thrilling. Um, so what I notice is I'm about to lose x's. So then I'm just going to move this to the other side and get x squared is equal to 9, which means x is equal to either positive or negative 3. Okay, so now I want to consider all of these different components, and I might need to grab, I'm going to grab my calculator just to make my life a little easier um, and figure out what... Um, negative 1, one of them was plus root, can you see what I'm doing? Yes, good enough. Plus root 21 over 2, it won't tell me exactly, so this is about um, 1.7913, okay. And then if I need it to be a minus in here, um, that's not helpful, we want to know this. Okay, so this is a negative 2.7913 also. Oh, there's the whatever. Okay. So let's take all of those things into consideration. We had, we have a lot going on here. Okay, so I don't know if you can see everything that I'm looking at, but there, here comes a new piece of paper. So on our number line, we have a negative four. We have a, I'm just, I should make them all dotted, but whatever. Um, negative 3, we have this, um, this guy is going to be a little bit bigger than that. We have this negative 1 minus root 21 over 2. We have a positive 3, which is going to be bigger than this guy. So I have a, this one is a, um, a, po a negative 1 plus root 21 over 2. And then somewhere out here, we have a positive 3. Is there anything else that we care about? I don't think so. The domain was, okay, so anything less than negative 4 is no good. Anything between, remember how we talked about this? The domain of this weird mess was anywhere, I, inside here I have this parabola, and so it hit, it went something like this. So the part that we, can, we care about is anything smaller than this one or larger than that one. So these two positives, we don't want the negative. So this mess right here is a no. Okay, so now, oh yeah, yeah, here we go. 
Um, now we need to see what's happening. Where is g greater than h? Okay, so so here we go. We have um, what's between here and here? So say a negative, so g of negative 3.5. You know what? And we're going to compare g and then h of negative 3.5. We're going to utilize our technology. I don't know if they'd put this in a non-calculator part, but um, for the sake of the video, um, I have my two equations already in. I'm coming to my table. Um, so I'm just going to, in my table, I'm going to type in negative 3.5. And so the first one was, I think was, yeah, was G. Yes, it was G. Okay, so G is, is going to be bigger. So here... At 3.5, G is bigger than um, H. So we wanted, but we wanted G is less than H. So this is mm, false. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> however you want to denote that. Um, then let's try something between negative three and what was that value? Negative 2.79. So we need something between that. So how about negative 2.8? So if I come over here to my calculator and do negative 2.8, which is bigger, the, um, the red is bigger, so we wanted red bigger than, um, you know what, I'm going to write that down. This is red, <laughs> and this is blue. Okay, um, so the red is currently bigger than the blue, so true. Okay, and then, what do we have? Um, then we need something between these guys. So this one was a 1.7, and this is 3, so let's try 2. So if I do 2, here this one was giving me 0. Does that make sense? 2 squared is 4 plus 2 is 6 minus, okay, that's 1, that is 0. Um, we wanted, is the red bigger than the blue? Yes, it is. So this piece right here is true. And now let's try something bigger than 3. I'm going to plug in 4. Um, bigger than 3, the blue is bigger than the red, but we wanted it the other way around. So this is false. So if I'm doing this correctly, I think my answer is going to be from negative 3 to negative 1 minus root 21 over 2 union, negative 1 plus root 21 over 2 to positive 3. Okay, I did not write this problem. I think I'm going to go look at the answer key, and, um, and then I'll make a third video. If I'm wrong in here, I'll correct it in my third, in my fifth video, fourth, oh, I'm so confused, in that last video. All right, good luck. Hope that's helpful.